abided Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Empowered by the Spirit, September 14, Isaiah. And he said, Go and tell these people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of these people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Isaiah 6, verses 9 and 10 The prophet's duty was plain. He was to lift his voice in protest against the prevailing evils. But he dreaded to undertake the work without some assurance of hope. Lord, how long? Isaiah 6 verse 11, he inquired. Are none of thy chosen people ever to understand and repent and be healed? His burden of soul in behalf of Aaron Judah was not to be born in vain. His mission was not to be wholly fruitless. Yet the evils that had been multiplying for many generations could not be removed in his day. Throughout his lifetime, he must be a patient, courageous teacher, a prophet of hope as well as of doom. The divine purpose finally accomplished the full footage of his efforts and of the labors of all God's faithful messengers would appear. A remnant should be saved. That this might be brought about, the messages of warning and entreaty were to be delivered to the rebellious, the Lord declared, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without men, and the land be utterly desolate, and the Lord had removed men far away, and there be a great forsaken in the midst of the land. Verses 11 and 12 the heavy judgments that were to befall the impenitent, war, exile, oppression, the loss of power and prestige among the nations, all these were to come in order that those who would recognize in them the hand of an offended God might be led to repent. The ten tribes of the northern kingdom were soon to be scattered among the nations and their cities left desolate, the destroying armies of hostile nations were to sweep over their land again and again. Even Jerusalem was finally to fall, and Judah was to be carried away captive. Yet the promised land was not to remain wholly forsaken forever. Empowered by the Spirit, September 14th.